We're here at the ID Tech Hacks show here with the Sensor Films. And uh, who are you? My name is Richard Hacks, Director of Engineering at Sensor Films. So you have your machine over there. What is this? Essentially what it is is a digital manufacturing system. It's capable of depositing a variety of different materials on a variety of different substrates. Focused in again on, on the construction of flexible hybrid electronics. So we're here, it's um, uh, flexible on plastic? Yes, this is actually a demonstrator system, and what we're showing here is a phase change ink that we're depositing here. Simple way to show the, the capabilities. Again, this is a production inkjet printing system. Yeah. Behind the curtains here, we have inkjet heads. Those heads can basically deposit a variety of different kinds of inks. Functional, decorative. So functional would be, for example, conductive inks, yeah. would be dielectric inks, could be carbon inks. The decorative inks would be, again, your standard UV inks you would see in any plastic, you know, either package or user interface material. So you can do a plastic transparent, you can also do a, like, uh, like this? Any media you want. There's a variety of different media that we can support, including glass. Can, we, can, we, can you show how it works? Sure. Except this is the operator screen. Again, this is a industrial manufacturing system. This is what the operator would use yeah. at the factory. But what we've done here is we have an example output file and it's showing a panelized electronic circuit. Today we're not dropping conductive inks. Instead what we're doing is again, it's doing the phase change ink. Essentially here, we've got a heated vacuum platen that holds the material down. Okay. And it's gonna pass under these heads right here. Along the way we've got a array sensor that's used to monitor the, uh, the material as it passes through and also check it on the way back. So the real capability in the system is its speed. A lot of systems you see today are essentially tabletop. This thing is a production high-speed printer, so you can see here, we're notifying the operator that please make sure there's something on the platen before we dump uh, ink onto it, and away we go. System basic goes to a pass and check. Now we drop the inks, and we're done. That's it. So in a flexible circuit, what we do is yeah. possibly do that eight times. You know, you drop a conductive layer, a dielectric layer, maybe some decorative inks, marking, like your, your classic PCB silk screen, and away you go. All and right. Again, flexible. So does and your company uh, have many of these machines in the world? We have several deployed in the field. The images over there show uh, the units that we've deployed at uh, RIT, and as well the ones that's going to be deployed at Netflix. So as yes, and we also have a couple other builds underway. And uh, so this is for the... Uh, uh, Printed electronics business. So yes, it is. There's a big potential for this. Enormous. That's why we're here. Enormous. So you could be doing lots of these. Yes, the, the idea here is that, again, a lot of uh, printed electronics today is based on screen printing. And again, what you do is you, you have a screen and you deposit the materials. This is a, di and that's an analog approach. This is the digital approach. And the idea here is that we offer you flexibility where previously you would play with screens and configure screens and actually have multiple screens to create the circuit. We simply run the file through the system. A few minutes, you've got a fully printed functional electronic substrate. And again, we can tie it in, as shown over there, with a, a downstream processing, which is, is traditional to the electronic space, a uh, chip shooter and some uh, material deposition for, again, it could be PCBs. In this case, again, we're building a flexible hybrid electron. And this is for mass production? This, you can, with a machine like that, you can mass produce? Let's say we or can do... Or is it just for prototyping? Two. No, it's not a prototyping machine, but if you have massive mass, massive volume, say you're doing, we're doing a million units, you would implement this in a roll-to-roll. -roll. And what we would do is take our inkjet printing transports and replace a vacuum platen with roll-to-roll. So we have a web feed through it. We probably have way more of those. You have some of those already out there? We have demonstration versions of that. It's a very expensive system. But again, we can demonstrate it for folks if they want to come up to Rochester, New York.